like what you see in the video. Adding a simple lower third to your video can add more appeal to the project. Thus, in today's video, we'll show you how to use VideoPro Vlogger to make a lower third like this. Without further ado, let's get started. Open VideoPro Vlogger. Quit a new project. To make a lower third, we first lead a solid color layer. If you already have one, you can import it directly into VideoPro Vlogger. Or you can also make a new one using the software. Well, you can take a screenshot at this point if you click on the button. And we need to use text to create a text layer first. And then, delete the text. And we click here. In the background, change your background color to white. And go back to main screen. Take a screenshot again to get a white image. Next, let's import a screenshot and video footage we just took into VideoPro Vlogger. Delete the text from the timeline. Put a video clip into the video track. Resize the timeline to right length. Then, put a white image into the overlay track. Resize it in the preview window and make it a rectangle like the one in the video. Then, create a new overlay track. Put a white image in again. Note here, you should slightly stagger the two images in the timeline. Next, resize and reposition the second white image in the preview window. You can use the guideline to align it with the first image, like this. When you're done, drag the guideline away to delete it. Next, select the first white layer. Click on Motion to enter the Motion screen. We need to create a top to bottom scrolling effect. Add a keyframe to the far left of the timeline. Net the box fixed to screen. Then, move the box down until it's completely moving out of the screen. Then, add a second keyframe 10 frames later. Net the box return to its original position. Then, add a third keyframe at 4 second point on the timeline and leave it in place. Add 4th keyframe 10 frames later. Move the box out of the frame again. Do not forget to put a key at the end. Click on apply to return to the main interface. Next, let's click on the second white layer. Use motion to add right to left motion to it. Add a keyframe to the first frame. Let the box fix to screen. Then, move the screen out to left. Go back 15 frames and add a second keyframe. Let the screen return to its original position. Then, do the same as before. Add a third and fourth keyframe in the fourth second. Now, the moving part of the lower third is complete. Next, let's continue to add tags. Drag the playhead to the point where the lower third appears completely. Then, click the text on the toolbar. Enter the text content in Inspector on the right. Then, choose a suitable font. Next, adjust the color, size, and the position of the text in the preview window. and add some animation to the text. Drag the playhead to find the position where the lower third just appeared. Then, in the timeline, drag the beginning of the text bar to this position. Then, find the animation in Inspector. Since here the lower third enters from right to left, 
we add a wipe left effect to the text in moving in. Then adjust the duration on the right side. Note that here you need to adjust the time repeatedly to create the best match between the text and the lower third. In the same way, we create a text move out effect. Now a lower third effect is complete. Well, this is all for today's video. And if you want to know more about other end tricks or what has been going on with Video Pop Blogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.